Hello everyone, Ryan here from iOS Mars. Today I'm going to show you guys you know how to create your own uh, patch inside Nave from scratch. Um, and not only am I going to just show you how to do that, but also I'll show you how to you know sample from another app right on iOS into into Audio Share using Audio Bus, and then we'll send directly from Audio Share right inside of Nave here, and uh, then we'll begin to uh, you know. That's what I'm going to try to pull off. So we'll pop into Galileo here. All right. So all we're going to do is just record a single note, and then we're going to take that note, send it over to Nave, and start, around, start to mess around with it. So let's click Record inside Audio Share here. That's it. Pop over to Audio Share. And um, there's our, let me get rid of all these uh, excess ones here. And we have our recorded Galileo. And now I'm just going to trim this so it's all, you know, nice and. Uh, nice and. Um, you know, trimmed so that when we uh, when we play it in our nave, it, it's not an empty space before the before the sound starts. But nave's going to change this quite a bit too. So there we have our trimmed. I'll get rid of the original recording, and uh, I'm just going to long press on this and and rename it just so that it's easier to find. So let's call this. Organ mutation. There we go. So now all we have to do, we'll click the open in button, open it up in Nave. There we go, it's been import imported. So we're going to click the initial button up here and reset uh, to the default, nothing, uh, the default Nave settings here. And, um, We'll go ahead and uh, you can either click right here, there's a little button that says full, or we can click this wave again and open up our full spectrum. So we're going to just click on uh, tools here and we'll click iTunes folder. Oops. We'll scroll down, there's organ mutation. There we go. Right on. So, let's go back to uh, our um, uh, main panel here. We're actually going to take this travel and mess around with this travel just a tiny bit. A little bit more. So there we go, we got a Galileo sound coming out of our Nave. So now, you know, lots and lots of stuff we can do with uh, this sound using Nave. You know, way more than I can even begin to show you here, and a lot of it I haven't figured out myself yet. But um, one thing we can do, you know, we can add a second waveform here. So let's do that. Um, we'll just add the same one again. So let's go to our, our thing, and we'll just do exactly what we did last time. Whoops. There we go. So, now we got our second one in here too. That's messy. There we go, we got a nice little chord now.
Let's add a flanger to this. <laughs> Add a little bit of EQ in here too. All right, and that's it. We have ourselves a you know a nice little organ mutation taken directly from uh, Galileo. So um. Yeah, obviously you can do this with any other app. You know, it doesn't even have to be just a single sound. You can play a riff and um, Nave will go ahead and turn it into a wavetable for you and uh, you'll, be able to, uh, you'll be able to play it per key. Although, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, try to turn everything into a note. So if you do put uh, drum beats, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change them quite a bit. So uh, you can put drum beats or, or uh, vocals, you know, anything you want in here really. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. You know, um, there's a lot more options, you know, especially if we get into the filters and uh, the mods and everything. Uh, we can do a lot to really, really start changing our sound. But, uh, you know, once you get something that you're happy with, you can just go ahead and click save and, you know, rename your, uh, your uh, sound here. So let's call it organism and we'll put it as keys and just click save and that's it we have our saved new uh, patch and uh, if we open it up we can actually go ahead and we can email this to somebody or um, delete it or whatever we want you know um, obviously you can use any other app so so, you know, as Tim from Discord said, as I was talking to him about, uh, you know, doing things this way today, he said it's kind of like a super sampler. So, you know, really, really, really cool uh, and a lot of different things you can do here. And you don't have to worry about, you know, going on the Internet and finding a sound because you can just take sounds right from any app and do it that way. And uh, really cool. So anyways, yeah, I hope this is helpful and uh, hope it gets you started on uh, making your own Nave patches because I'd, I'd really like to see a lot more available for download. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot and uh, please visit uh, iOS Mars. Uh, I hope you guys find this helpful and uh, we'll see you next time.